Alright. Welcome to Medusa's Labyrinth. This is a horror game based in ancient Greece and uh, steeped in Greek mythology. That's pretty much all I know about it, other than, of course, the controls, which they put right here. Very helpful. I guess all there is to do is to start. I'm not particularly good at horror games, so we'll see how this goes. Oh. Mighty Poseidon, Lord of the Black Sea, depths swirling dark and deep, whose will shapes the currents of fate. Yep, that's all you get to hear. thing scaled itself out of proportion. My goodness. Wow, this thing is not set up well. Yeah, I guess that'll have to... It just went full screen all of a sudden without me knowing it. My goodness. Good enough. Alright. going on. Okay. Uh, oh my god. The, uh, okay, well I guess we need to try this again. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but it's Clearly not right. And it did it again. Well, at least it's got the right thing on it. Uh, okay, whatever. Can I just get like full screen mode or something? full screen. There we are. That should fix it, I hope. Okay. Um. Okay, good enough. That should do it. Okay, well, let's try this again. Maybe I'll read the second paragraph this time. Save thy servant, break open the earth, and let sweet waters spring forth. Pull me with the tide, grant me safe harbor at last, and shield me from the storm that approaches. Okay, so basically it's just a big old thing that's ancient Greek for shit's about to go down. Okay, jump, crouch, oh, it's toggled. Okay, cool. No. Uh, okay, left mouse button there. Okay. Father told me he had great news today, but he did not sound pleased. He said I'd been chosen, that I was to serve in the temple as an oracle. I've always felt like I did not belong in the kitchens, but Mother never let me see anything else. Dirty pots and pans all day. I prayed to him, and now my God has answered. Why can't Father be happy for me? Hmm. Oh, that's not good. There's okay. Nope, that's it. Okay. Teenage girl unhappy with her dad. Surprising. Oh, I have a feeling that. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling that nothing major is going to happen until we actually get to the labyrinth. Yeah. Today's the day I take. To, they take me to the temple. Father said I could not call him father anymore, that no one at the temple can know about him and mother. I have a bruise on my shoulder where his fingers dug in when he grabbed me. The acolytes should come by but at sunset, he said, and that I should not worry. But I do worry. I have never seen that look in his eyes before. Oh. Strange. Well, 
that's loud. Seems like they shouldn't be ringing that thing late at night. Huh. Well, it is called Medusa's Labyrinth. I guess a lifelike statue is to be expected. Clickety click. Oh. Part. Wait. Part two. Of, she is to become his body and soul, chosen by fate, they told me. An oracle to see the future and grant blessings according to Poseidon's will. I will not let them take my beautiful daughter. I have to see what the hero fant and his followers do to the poor girl in the sanctuary. Chosen, but for whom? Whose will will she? Is she to please? That was the second from Arcus, which is strange. Well, first of all, I didn't know that Arcus had anything to do with Medusa or oracles. He was a founder of the city of Arcadia. Or the depths hides many secrets. Okay, maybe that's a clue for a future puzzle. Okay, I think so. Not exactly a puzzle, I guess, but just a thing you can do. The fine line between puzzle and thing you can do. And I think that line is difficulty. Okay, now we're into an actual labyrinth looking thing. Press and hold its toggle. Due to the illness spreading among the servants, the East Catacombs has been locked down and is under quarantine. The bridge leading to this area may not be lowered at any times by anyone unless explicitly ordered. It has been given by the High Hierophant. And that's. No. I don't know what bridge that is. But I'm going to go the way that I can see. Okay. Uh, oh. I don't like horror games where you can lean. Because it means that you might have to. And I don't like having to be that paranoid. But I guess that's what I get for playing a horror game. Uh, right mouse button to drop the torch. Hold and release right mouse button. Throw torch. Throw a torch. pitch black and that I can't exactly do anything. I'm not supposed to be moving around in the pitch black, is that the idea? There's like there's scary music playing, but there's nothing <coughs> happening. There's something I'm supposed to be doing. I don't. Uh, well, yeah. I guess I'll just go in and move around blindly. Moving around, no 
idea where I'm going. Oh. Okay. Uh, that. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, someone's definitely sick. scroll. Backstory. I am in Hades. It's dark here. I have not seen the light of the sun in days. A slave's father sent to guard me. Let their eyes linger longer than they should. It makes my skin crawl. Their master comes by now. And then to leave, by now and then to leave supplies, but never stays long. They haven't acted upon the things I see in their minds, but I can't sleep with them so close. I wish father was here. The whitewashed bones that fill these tunnels whisper to me. Call for me to join them. I might take them up on their offer. Alright. So it's dark and she wants to die. Cool. It's just what you want to hear. Uh, apples. Okay. I wish I knew what the goal here was. Torches will burn out. That's nice. And then what? I'll be left in the pitch black again. That will make the game very fun if I'm... Is there a way to, like, save my light? Or. Well, like here, I guess maybe? No? Spreading, yeah. Okay, this way was blocked before. Yeah. Well, that's probably the way to go there. So, so far, I have reason to assume that there's a monster wandering around. Just because it's a horror game and it's called Medusa's Labyrinth, so clearly Medusa's wandering around. And we've seen some, some dudes that are. You know. We see some dudes that are uh, Oh, I see. So... Oh, to take out my bow, I have to drop the torch. Well, that's lame. I mean, it's certainly a mechanic that'll work well for a horror game. No doubt about that, but it's lame for me wanting to survive. I found a way to hide her from all of the mortals and gods alike. Miraculous, and two of his slaves will watch over her down here. No one will look for the living amongst the dead. I just hope she will understand that I do this to protect her. Ever since uh, Timaeus, ever since Timaeus died, she has refused to talk to me. I probably should not have slapped her like that, but her scream could have ruined everything. Uh, Timaeus' death was a hard blow for all of us. A slap, a slap is nothing in comparison. Yet I wish it was undone. I long to hear her sweet laugh again. Someday soon, when they've stopped, when we've they've stopped looking, I will make her smile like she used to. No? Oh, more torches. Okay, so I wonder if that is Arcus, as in the mythological figure Arcus, or if it's just some random dude's name. I see here. I have to, uh... Shoot. Nope. Okay. Come here. There we are. Okay. 
so there's no arc, apparently. When you shoot your bow, it just goes straight at whatever it is. It doesn't arc at all. No goody. The lights all go out. Is one nice thing. If it's pitch black, Medusa's not as dangerous. Not sure if the game took that logic into account, but I mean, if you can't see her, then she can't get you. That's kind of the whole thing, isn't it? giving me anything. It's giving me hints that Medusa's here. I think even without the title of the game I'd have figured that out. I mean... There we are. You know, it's... It's ancient Greece, and there's dudes made of stone that look like they're frightened. I mean, come on. The Bone Song is with me now, and they can sense it. The melody vibrates just below the my skin, and those monsters no longer dare to meet my gaze. Last time they came for me, I gouged out one of their eyes with my thumb. Now they keep the door locked and stay away. Father has left me. He buried me with the other corpses. I hate them. I hate them all. Wait, did that? That's odd. Okay, so it sounds like this girl is Medusa. Which is weird because Medusa's name was Medusa, not Al Alonia or whatever. Okay, did it break or something? I, I guess it did. Okay. Yeah, Medusa's name was Medusa. I mean, that's just that was just her name. It's not like the name of a monster. It was only the name of a woman who became a monster. You know. And I'm not sure that. Argus had anything to do with it. I could be wrong. Poseidon certainly did. Poseidon is the man who fooled around with Medusa in uh, in Athena's temple. And that's why Medusa was turned into a monster. Because she disrespected Athena. But, so, you know, Poseidon being part of this makes sense. Turn in a circle. Big loud gun. <coughs> big loud gun. Uh, okay, let's go toward the big loud gun. Is there something in here? Oh no! Oh, I see. It just blocked off. I see. That was just saying this way is no longer viable. Okay. It's really hard to. Tell what's going on when there's so little light. I'm just kind of blindly walking in the dark at this point. I'm, oh, is this dead? Is this blocks or something? It's just a bunch of like darkness. I can't really. I don't. Is this like a blocked way? I have to click something. No, I guess it's blocked. Wait, what's going on? Um, uh, okay, I was stuck on a beam, I guess. Okay, well, this way then. Let's 
really weird how they uh, break your torch and then don't give you a new one. The game is far less interesting if you can't see anything at all. Like if you can only see a certain distance in front of you, that's one thing. But to not be able to see at all is kind of silly. All right, that's helpful. Ah, Arcus again. I buried Tim I Why is it rumbly? Okay. Uh, I buried Tim today. It had to be done in secret, but he deserves a place of honor for his sacrifice. I washed his bones myself and sent them down to the with the acolyte to be buried in the tombs under a false name. I cannot risk going down for a visit, but I miss her more than anything. The hero fan suspects that someone amongst the lower priests have stolen her away, but so far his search has yielded no results. Interesting. I wonder if it's the the priest, the hierophant dude, is like a priest of Athena, which would make sense. Why she's more loud noises. Which would make sense why she's being hunted. Okay, maybe I have to run, I don't know. I don't know anything that's going on right now. Oh, page. Uh something is wrong with Caracula. Caraculos. I went to ask him about my daughter, and his servants would not let me speak to him. They said he has a fever, and the Hierophant has ordered that no one has come near him for fear of spreading the disease. Maybe the higher priests are on to us, but there is nothing I can do. I cannot run while she is down there. If nothing changes soon, I will have to go down there and find her myself. Oh, so am I Arcus? Is that, my, is that the deal? Then why do I need to read my own journal entries? Well, obviously they're for the player, not the character, but still. I like games to make logical sense. Uh, okay. Fancy room with another torch. Um, okay. That way's blocked, so I guess this way. I keep looking around. It's probably something I shouldn't be doing too much, knowing that Medusa is about. I should probably just keep my head down and keep moving forward. But I don't want to miss out on the. Oh. I don't want to miss out on the art and the you know the style of the game and everything. It's a it's an unfortunate paradox that they've given me there. Oh, is this? Is this yeah, it is. All right. Oh, that's not a way forward. Oh, there's the way forward. Here we go. Or at least I think it's forward. It's hard to know. It's easy to get turned around. Oh. Okay, I saw movement. Do I have to... Yeah, something moved up there. I'm not sure if I need... Again, I'm not sure what the rules are here. Like, is this the kind of m monster that moves about randomly and I have to avoid? Or is this all scripted stuff, sort of like Bendy? Is it more like one of those... Okay. I'm not like Bendy. It's more like when you see it, you have to avoid it somehow. But how? Oh yeah, that's the way blocked. Okay. Do I have to like sneak by? It certainly took him a minute to notice me. Maybe I have to sneak by. Is this the room where he was? I think it might be. No, no, come on, give me. There we go. 
Okay, um... I guess I just have to go again. And... There he be. Well, I should be happy at least that something is finally happening. Um, maybe I should... shoot him with my bow, thinking maybe that's really slow him down or something. But as soon as he noticed me, I lowered my bow automatically. Yeah, so I guess that's not what you do. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna do the I'm gonna drop my torch anyway, I just have to assume that that's going to make him notice me. Okay, now let's see if I'm hidden. Okay, I'll just wait for him to go by. And once he's gone by, I'll run across. There we go. Oh, he's coming this way. I guess I never noticed that he came this way. Because he always ran over to me. <sighs> right. Okay. Well, let's give it another shot. I'm not sure if dropping my torch was necessary, but, oh, but, I mean, couldn't hurt. I know where it is. Okay, are we still avoiding the dude? Wait, is he still around? I had my torch. Okay. Now, in the uh, last room where I saw the monster which, by the way, clearly wasn't Medusa. Um. Uh, I, guess, I guess I hit a wall. I couldn't tell because everything was pitch black. Anyway, what I was trying to say was, uh, last time I saw the creature, it gave me a little warning. It showed him move ahead of me, like here. It shows him move right there. No? Maybe over... No? Uh, I highly doubt this is going to work, but I'll hide in the corner here. take a wrong turn. It's just so hard to navigate when everything is so dark. 
and, and samey too, like everything looks the same. But it almost works, so I'm gonna try it again. If I hide in this corner. he went straight into the other room. This time he stopped over there. I guess I assumed because last time he was on a set path. Okay, well, this worked before, so... I mean, it kind of worked. Once I go into a dark passage, I could be running against a wall and have no idea. Ugh. Okay, maybe I'll try this. Over here. Go because everything looks the same. Um, right. Did this? <sighs> Jesus. Is he gone or? I. <sighs> He's probably not gone, but I. Idea where else I'm supposed to go? Is there a torch around here or something? Because that would really that would help a good deal. Yeah, no, you went back. Okay. So it's wait. Let me. I gotta check. Is there a torch in here, perhaps? I mean, putting one at the checkpoint would only make some sense. So that if you need one, for example, if the whole level looks the same and is in darkness, so you can't tell what's what and where is where, then you would have some way to know. He just got an upset tummy. I, and this room, I'm pretty sure, was empty. Yeah. Okay, it's just pitch black. I mean, is there maybe a gamma I can. Oh my god. Oh my god, that helps so much. Oh, friggin' default was terrible. Oh my god, I can actually see what things are. That is insane. Imagine a video game where you can see... <sighs> Crazy. Alright, now, am I, am I waiting for him to come back, maybe? I mean, they give me this little... There's a little slit here. Maybe to wait for him to come back and slip behind... No? Yes? Maybe? 
Yes. Looks like the answer is yes. Okay, patrolly. Patrolly horror monster. Yes. Good. Oh, it turns. That's why. Okay, something collapsed. Or opened, I guess. Cool. Okay. Wow. This game has been helped so much by the brightness being turned up. There are still dark parts. Oh. Button click. Hide from monster. Uh, is he gonna. I mean, I assume he's gonna come in here. Otherwise, this would just be a safe room, and that wouldn't happen in a game like this. What is he? He's got horns. The cloven hooves, it sounds like. It's almost like a satyr, but he's got the wrong kind of horns. And of course, he's too monstrous to be a, a satyr. Satyrs were pretty nice and harmless. Now I see it, but he's coming back. Okay, I know exactly where to go. Right through there. I just need to wait for him to go away and hope he doesn't come over here. And I'm not going to risk it while he's in that other room. I'm just going to wait. <sighs> Much easier. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Go away, big mysterious monster thing. It's definitely not Medusa. not Medusa, is like, uh, oh, it's a cult where you like meld together multiple animals into one, whoa, big boy, I forget what that's called, uh, homunculus, I don't think that's right. time, I hope. Yeah, there we go. Uh, one eye is not doing so well. His hair is falling off and his skin is discoloring and cracking. I think the bone song is changing him, but not like it changed me. I am different. I am losing hair too, and my muscles ache, but I feel stronger than I felt before. Right. Okay, so... One eye, I guess? Became... Creepy, uh, horny dude. And Elena, or whatever her name is, became Medusa. And I 
I assume. Also, I'm not sure what Bone Song is. It's nothing I'm familiar with from Greek mythology. The daytime? What's that? Not that I'm any sort of Greek mythology expert, I just like it. sound. Okay. Well. Oh, I can see a little bit. Uh-huh. Is this more monster running or is this just kind of explory? It seems pretty explory right now. Oh. One eye lies in fever. I hear him tossing and turning, crying as the song eats at him. The other one left to fetch their master, but has not come back. I have no fever at all. I am as cold as the earth around me and the darkness in these tunnels. I belong here now. Okay, yeah. Oh, geez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was her name again? El Eliona? Eliana. Eliana? Yeah, Eliana, I guess. Assuming Eliana is Medusa. Okay. I don't know what's happening. I'm just running. Oh. I. So we don't even get to see Medusa. Maybe, maybe if I turned around, I would have seen her. Maybe she was chasing me at the end. And I guess the game isn't isn't over. I... Okay, there's more. I guess, even though the credits already played. Strange. Maybe this is just like a free play because this does seem to be like more of a demo, uh, more of a proof of concept kind of a thing. There's a lot of those nowadays, which is fine with me, of course. Um, but this doesn't seem to be a full game. It certainly didn't. Later over here. It certainly didn't have a full narrative. Um, it was just. I mean, I guess if you count the narrative of Eliona turning into Medusa. But the, that was a backstory narrative. It didn't have any narrative for the character we're playing. I guess it did have Arcus stuff, but I don't know. It was all backstory, is what I'm saying. We didn't play through a story. We played through a museum of backstory journals. Okay, it looks like there's nothing here. This is just kind of look. We can make it pretty. Alright, well, that was Medusa's Labyrinth. As I said, I believe this is more of a demo, proof of concept kind of a thing. And uh, if they fine-tune it and, uh, you know, flesh it out a bit more, I think this could be really cool. I love the idea of a horror game set in ancient Greece. Um, not just ancient Greece, but ancient Greek mythology. That's really cool. Um, I wish they would do something to make it stick a little closer to actual mythology. Or at least make some sort of sense. Like, if that's supposed to be Medusa, Eliona is supposed to be Medusa, why is her name Eliona? Uh, it's supposed to be Medusa. I mean, that's her name. It's not just the name of the creature she is. The creature she is is a Gorgon. She is a she is Medusa. That's her name. Anyway, I, that's just, I don't know, little irks me a little bit, I guess. And besides that, the gameplay was alright. Uh, once I raised the brightness, it helped a ton. They should just fix that for the default, honestly. Um, the mechanic for the torch and bow made sense, it was kind of interesting, but it didn't really come into play. Um, I only had to shoot the bow and arrow once, for some reason. Um, 
even for any reason. Like, it never came up again, which was disappointing. Um, and it told me how to throw, like, look. Whoa! I can throw my torch. I don't know why I would need to do that. Oh, and it doesn't really fall either. Um, I don't know why I would need to throw my torch, but I learned how. It is a thing I could do. Maybe it could have just if it was lit. Maybe it could have distracted the monster, but I didn't. That didn't seem necessary at any point. Eh, whatever. Point is, I see potential in this, but it was kind of mediocre at the moment. But again, I can see a lot of places that with small improvements could make the game more than mediocre. Anyway, that'll be all for now. Hope you enjoyed this little walk through Medusa's Labyrinth. Make sure to subscribe and follow and all that good stuff. Like the video. Watch us on Twitch when we're live. And I will hopefully be back in not too long with Missa joining me so we can play more Celeste. See you.